channel in this video i am going to explain you about how to do the nonlinear optical properties calculation so in the previous video i have explained you about the geometry optimization how to do geometry optimization with the help of gaussian software so please watch that video and i am also going to share the link of that video in the description box so you can have the idea about the geometry optimization because if you want to do the nonlinear optical properties calculation, you have to optimize the geometry of the given molecule. So I also explained how to uh, draw the molecular structure in the previous video. So please watch those videos and you can uh, do the calculation for nonlinear optical properties. So first what I will do here, uh, so I am going to select the optimize geometry uh, so he here i have done the uh, geometry optimization so you can optimize the geometry uh, with the help of semi empirical dft or hartree fock so here i have optimized with the help of uh, dft so here uh, default you will get checkpoint file uh, input file log file so this is for the molecule i have denoted it by d1 so log file i will select open so you can have here the uh, optimized geometry so i have already optimized this with the help of dft so here i am going to uh, go to the result so here uh, if you take log file if you want to have any of the results go to the result section and here uh, you may have many of the options summary charge distribution and vibrations so here uh, i am explaining about non-linear optical properties so go to view or edit file so here what you have to do i am going to maximize this click on ctrl f and then uh, there you should uh, find out the key keyword like you should type polarizability okay in the search box if you click polarizability click on find so you can observe here uh, the word is identified click on again find so here are the values for the calculation of non-linear optical properties so you will get the uh, these values uh, for the log file of the optimized geometry so here you should find out the keyword polarizability you will get these values uh, for all the three dimensions so polarizability uh, you need to calculate here alpha beta uh, values so if you want to do uh, for polarizability uh, hyperpolarizability uh, so on uh, so you require these values so here uh, first you should note down these values in terms of atomic mass unit the values of x y z and in terms of d bay so in terms of d bay and atomic unit you are going to have this is for electric dipole moment so this is for dipole polarizability alpha dipole moment mu alpha and uh, hyperpolarizability is denoted by beta so here uh, is the uh, e here are the values for uh, these uh, parameters in terms of atomic unit and d by so these are the values including two oh, coordinates x x y x y y z x so all these values you should note down and here for the hyperpolarizability dipole moment uh, beta values so including three coordinates x x triple x uh, all the values you should note down okay so um, log file you should go to the keyword polarizability and note on these values 
for dipole moment for polarizability and hyperpolarizability so then uh, once you find these values you can go for the calculation here so in the excel sheet uh, note on all the values of uh, dipole moment mu and uh, for uh, values of uh, polarizability and hyperpolarizability so here i have first uh, noted them uh, in the atomic unit as well as in the uh, d by okay so both the values you have to calculate so here are the formulas uh, for them to calculate non linear optical properties so mu stands for dipole moment alpha stands for uh, polarizability and beta stands for hyperpolarizability so using these equations you can do the calculation uh, from the output file uh, of the gaussian program optimized geometry so here you can see the uh, mu is for single coordinate x y z alpha is for the polarizability alpha x x alpha y y z z and beta is for including three coordinates beta x x x so all the combinations you have to perform so like that uh, you can do the calculation and here uh, in the tabular column you can represent in terms of atomic unit and d by so total total dipole moment total uh, polarizability and also hyperpolarizability you can represent in this in this table so i hope uh, this information is helpful for the calculation of non linear optical properties so first step is to optimize the geometry and then uh, you should take the log file of the optimized geometry go to result view and edit file find the keyword polarizability and then note down the values and do the calculation with the help of formula thank you thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel for upcoming videos like this thanks a lot